Good afternoon. How are those stampers? It's Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent stepping up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. And uh, we're going to make this really simple, cute card today. Um, just let me get sorted out. I'm just calling up the video up on my iPad so I can see comments if anybody uh, leaves any comments, has any questions, so I can hopefully not ignore you. <laughs> it's always, oh, okay, I gotta swipe. I gotta remember all these swiping to get your Facebook going the right way. All right, so I'm gonna place my iPad just over here. All right, so how are you guys? I missed you last week. Sorry about that. I uh, I didn't do my regular Sunday stamp and share because I wasn't uh, feeling all that great. I'm actually just going to turn off my overhead light because it's a little glary with my other lights. So hopefully that helps with the video quality. Um, all right. So we're going to make this card, but before we get started, I have some new fun things to share with you. So, um, as a demonstrator, we get to pre-order um, from the new upcoming annual catalog. So, there will be a new catalog release um, on June 3rd. Right now, it's the last chance product, so some of the products that are retiring are uh, for sale now. Hi Sandy, how are you? And uh, But one of the perks of being a demonstrator, um, in addition to getting a discount for to feed your addiction of craft supplies from Stepping Up, is that you get to order stuff early. So my pre-order came, I'm not gonna show you all the stuff that I got because it's that's just mean. If you can't play with it or see projects with it, that's just me, but I will show you the new ink colors. Um, and let me tell you, I love them. So let me put this away. We're gonna use that. I'll show you that a bit. So the new ink colors this year are to die for. I just, oh, I just love them. I, I, there's not one that I can't see myself using. Um, so let me see if I can remember the names. This one, which is a really nice warm, I can see this for the fall, it's Cinnamon Cider. And then Just Jade, uh, oh no, help me, Magenta Madness. Look at how bright and cheerful that is. I can't wait to use that with one of the, the new flower dyes um, or one of the new flower stamps, uh, which I won't show you today, but this is Bumblebee, which we got the sneak peek from uh, earlier with the Ornate uh, DSP, the Ornate Gardens DSP. So we saw that early. And then this blue, I love this blue. It is called Misty Moonlight. And it just, oh, it just, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So those are the new ink colors. Okay, some of these will be featured in the Paper Pumpkin if you're lucky enough to get it. Here's um, the in color DSP. Okay, so there's four different designs in each of the colors. So you get this one or the wood panel or some words. Let's see if I can read these. Oh my goodness, I need new glasses. Uh, oh, it's all in different languages. Um, but in the English, it says to love what we do and share what we love. So that's our statement of the heart for stamping up. That's awesome that we have it on paper now. And then circles. So we have that in, this is the new 6x6 DSP that comes in the ink colors. We can get them in all of the color families as well. I only got the new ink color ones. That is gorgeous. And then of course, you have to have matching ribbons, right? and some bling. So these are some enamel dots. These are gonna go fast, I can guarantee they are so cute. Okay, so that's enough of that, but I am going to show you today also the suite that we are using, okay? So we're gonna be using the stamp set. We're not using the dies today, but here are the dies. So this is the, oh my goodness, it's the Fern Suite. Uh, 
Oh, and my lamp's in the way, is it? Okay. Which one? I have two lamps. Thanks, Sandy. Is that better? All right. Hopefully that's okay. Oops. Let's move it over. There we go. And then let's move this one. That's a little bit of a glare, but all right. Is that better, Sandy? Thank you for telling me. I would have seen the video at the end and been really upset that I would have to redo it. <laughs> all right. So Forever Fern. I almost didn't buy this stamp set. And I'll tell you why. Because, or this bundle or this suite. Um, I'm not a fan, really a big fan of green. But let me tell you, I think it's going to be my favorite. So... This is the DSP that goes with it. So the suite comes with this bundle, okay? This DSP, look at this DSP, look at this. It's like all the different shades, well, not all of the different shades, but a lot of the different shades of green that we have as Stamping Up, and they just look amazing together. So I just, I love it. So I'll show you the paper, okay? It's all foliage uh, imagery. I can't remember the name of the, of the DSP. I'll look it up in a minute. Okay, but look at this. Look how gorgeous, eh? There we go. And then, of course, ferns, because it is a fern set, right? And then, on the back side, you have some really cool patterns that we can use. Okay, love, love the colors. And again, I'm not a green person, but I can just really... I don't know. I fell in love. I've had so much fun playing with this set. And look at that. How fun. All right. I see some uh, Bruno um, Bertucci's strippy, what is it called? Strippy, strippy strips? <laughs> Scrappy strips coming with this. So the DSP is called Forever Greenery Designer Series Paper. Also in that bundle, you get, and this is gonna, these are pretty fragile, but you get these Forever Gold Specialty Designer paper. I've been playing with mine, so they're kind of in pieces. Um, but look at this. Ooh, we're gonna use one of these today that's missing. Um, so you just pop these out, and there you go. You've got some uh, gold foil embellishments. Uh, you get three sheets of that one, and then there's another one. Let's see if I can get to it. Oh, I've taken a few out, so let's go to the one underneath. Um, that you can use as frames. Oh, I'm making a mess. You can use as frames with these, or I can see me cutting these out as well and using these as embellishments. So this is part of the suite too. This is very fragile. I will put that back later so you guys don't have to see me struggle. Uh, you get some really cool hoops, okay? I haven't opened mine yet, but um, can't wait to play with them. And then you get a, the paper is gorgeous, Sandy, like absolutely gorgeous. Um, you get a combo uh, ribbon, so there's this, I forget the name of it, but it's um, it's really soft. I was really surprised because I, when I looked at it, I thought it was going to be harsh, but it's very soft. And you can color this, so you can have it match whatever color you're you're featuring on your card. And then some really beautiful uh, um, gold to go with it. So we're going to be using some of this today. So I will keep that close because I know as soon as I move it off into the abyss of my desk, I will never find it again. All right, so that's all I'm gonna show you today. Um, the next video that I'll do, um, I'll use a different suite and then show you that suite. So we're gonna make this card, okay? Super simple, really easy. Um, my catalog hasn't arrived yet, otherwise I would tease you with the catalog. <laughs> Um, I'm, you know, getting very, very impatient with Canada Post, but it'll come and, uh, and then I'll be poor because I've already blown my budget, but that's okay. All right. So to make this card, we need a, we are using the Pretty Peacock. Okay. 
Um, so we need a half piece of the cardstock. So this cardstock is eight and a half by five and a half. And we are going to bring in our trimmer and we are gonna score this at four and one quarter. So let me get that up. I will put all the measurements at the bottom of this post, um, as well as a link to my blog and I will put everything in the blog that as well as the item numbers now again you cannot order these new items yet unless you are a demonstrator or unless you sign up to be a demonstrator then you can put some of these in your um, in your starter kit okay so that's the only way that you can get these your hands on this stuff right now is by being a demonstrator okay so i took um just whisper white cardstock i have gold pieces everywhere whisper white cardstock um and i cut it out with uh stitched shapes um dies okay and then i'm just using a strip of this dsp and this is one and a half inches by five and a quarter and then I have another strip to go behind it that is one and three quarters and five and a half and then I have two pieces of whisper white which have glue on it how did I get glue on it already oh my goodness I haven't even gotten the glue out and I already have glue on it all right, uh, so two pieces of Whisper White, one for the inside, one for the outside. And this is, oh, I forgot to show you too. Part of the suite is embossing folders. Sorry about that, I had, so here, it, okay. Stamping Up is coming out with uh, a new uh, die cutting and embossing machine. And if you look at these guys, they're minis, and yes, we're gonna have a mini one. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to get my hands on it. So these are um, two embossing folders that come also with the suite. So they're really cool designs here and just some nice foliage that I can't wait to play with. I'm gonna sponge those and see what it looks like. All right, so that's, sorry, that was part of the suite. I uh, squirrel, I go all over the place. And then the other thing we need is I took out um, one of the the gold um, circles and I just cut it in half and that way I get two cards, okay? And so I've used the other half on my sample card. We're gonna use this one today. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to stamp our sentiment. So uh, again, the only ink that I'm using today is Pretty Peacock. Hi, Emery, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. I can't, I don't know about you guys, but when I woke up yesterday and we had snow on the ground, I was, oh, I'm like, come on, what is going on? But today is nice so far. It's supposed to rain. It hasn't rained yet. Um, I'm hoping because the snowbirds are supposed to uh, fly across Guelph any time now, actually. So I'm hoping that they that the weather is still good for the, so my kids can enjoy them flying by. All right, so we just stamp that and we're gonna put that off to the side. Um, I am using a, so this sentiment is from the fur, oh, what is it called? Oh my goodness, see, I told you, as soon as I put stuff in my, on the abyss of my desk, I lose it. It's from the, the Fern Suite, anyway. It's Forever Fern, I think it's called. Um, here we go. Forever Fern, yeah. Now, the sentiment for the inside, okay, is it's just saying hello. And this I'm using from a tasteful touch. So this is part of another suite, um, but I am just going to use that. So, but I won't show you the rest of the suite. We're just going to use that. I did this one here because um, it says to a friend that makes me smile. And then on this one, I had the good things in life are better with you. I just thought that was really sweet. And then this one here, I'm just going to say, just saying hello. So I'm going to be sending these to friends, just touching base with them. It's, you know, 
people are really isolated right now. I love the colors. Hey, Heather, how are you? You're not working today. The new colors, Heather, and you can order those now. You know that, right? Um, you can put in a pre-order, Heather, and you can get those colors. So no inks yet. Um, they There is a delay in the inks just because of COVID again. But hopefully they will be here in ample supply for June 3rd when the catalog goes live. All right, so just saying hello. I love this font, it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna take uh, just some of the, the foliage here that's similar to the foliage on the front. And I'm just gonna stamp it. Uh, maybe do a couple. Hmm. Okay, and I'll clean that off. And then I am going to shut my ink pad because me and open ink pads are a recipe for disaster. Now, what I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this, you can leave them like this, but I do like to take my blender pen and just kind of blend in the ink. And I'll show you the difference that it makes. Okay, you do want to do it when your ink is fairly wet, so you don't want to wait too long. Okay, and I'm just coloring in. Basically, I'm not coloring. Basically, I am pulling the ink into the other areas. And just see how it just it just softens it a little bit. I love the blender pen on these kind of stamps. It is just so gorgeous. All right, almost done. One more. This is going to be a super, super simple card. Now, because I missed last week, um, I am going to be doing another video during the week. Um, I, I, my plan is Wednesday after work. Um, if that doesn't work, all I do to, to clean this is just go on there and then it's done. Um, if that doesn't work, because I have a crazy crazy week um then it'll be thursday before my class all right so hopefully you guys can join me then hey nikki how are you happy mother's day to all the mothers that are um watching today i hope you guys are getting spoiled rotten i know i did i got uh well i was the first one up i didn't get breakfast in bed um because my dog woke me up at six o'clock um but I, then i just had peaceful coffee came down into my craft room and i've been here all day they made me brunch and uh, i've just been playing so that is a perfect day if you ask me all right and i got some beautiful flowers too so now what we're going to do is i'm going to just glue this down okay we're not stamping on this so i can glue it right away and oh. yes my fur baby did not let me sleep in he never does <laughs> always on the weekend during the week, he goes and wakes up my husband. But on the weekend, he knows that my husband sleeps in. So he comes and he bugs me. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a couple of glue dots on the back of this. Okay, so I'm taking out my trusty glue dots. And, all right, sorry, I'm just trying to read. Uh, comments. I am uh, not a good multitasker these days. I don't know about you guys. I, my uh, ability to focus is uh, a little bit compromised. And I, and I even had a cup of tea right before so I could uh, have some caffeine in me. <laughs> Too early this morning getting out of bed. All right. So these are unwinding on me. I'm gonna give that a little haircut. Okay, so 
So I don't know if you saw what I did. I put four glue dots. And so I'm just going to put the twine in there. I'm just sticking it down with my nail. Okay, and I do want it to cross on the front. So I'm gonna bring it down to the next corner, stick it in here, okay? Bring it straight up to this one, stick it in there. And then I am going to cross it down like that. Stick it in and then give it a trim. Okay, we'll put that out of the way. See, really easy. Just a couple of glue dots, simple, simple, simple. All right, so I do wanna leave this a little bit off to one side, okay? So then what I wanna do is I just wanna position this, center that in the card so it's not hanging over too much. And then I'm gonna put glue on the back of this and we're gonna stick her down. Okay, you don't wanna to have too much glue up here on the leaves because you don't want it to go uh, splurting out and make a mess of your card because you will see it okay so just be very light very light touch with the glue up here you don't need a lot this Tombow glue is excellent it sticks really really well um, so those of you that are watching that are demonstrators have you received your catalog yet I am I go, the dog is very lucky. I take him for a walk, I don't know how many days to go check my mailbox and how many times a day. And it's just not here yet. I can't wait for it to come. Heather, you should be getting one in the mail um, very shortly if it hasn't already arrived. Some people have theirs. Guelph seems to be very slow with our mail. All right, so I'm just gonna stick this down. And I'm just very carefully putting the, the points down because I don't wanna crunch it up. And then all I'm gonna do is glue this down. Okay, you can pop it up if you want. Um, I'm gonna be mailing this, so I, uh, I'm keeping it as flat as I can because I don't like to have to pay Canada Post more money. And then I'm just going to line it up so it's straight. Hopefully, I can't see over. Hopefully that works. Does that work? Is that straight? All right. So do you guys have any plans for tonight? Um, my niece's partner is a musician. And for the last few Sundays, he's been entertaining. And uh, he's... He's doing it tonight again, so at 7.30, I'm gonna log on and, you know, my brother will be there and uh, my niece and my nephew and my other niece and, and uh, yeah, and we just, uh, we watch a music concert. Kind of cool, we get to do requests. He's really good, his name's Brandon Fry in the Ottawa area. You're going to be doing crafts, Anne-Marie? Oh, that's fun. I'll be doing crafts too while I listen to the music because I'll just put the, the uh, I'll put Brandon on my uh, computer screen and then, and have him going and I will be crafting. All right. How easy is that? Very simple, but just very, I don't know. I love, love this paper. You guys really need to get your hands on it and uh, and start playing because it is so much fun. Don't forget, if you are not a demonstrator, the only way that you can get it um, before June 3rd is by signing up because only demonstrators can order this right now until June 3rd. After June 3rd, it is going live. So if you want, if you live in Canada and you would like a catalog, let me know. I can have one sent out to you, okay? And if you want information about joining, then uh, joining my team, then let me know. So there we go, that's it. That's all she wrote. Hope you guys liked it. 
very simple. I mean, you can do tons of these and um, and send them out to, you know, as many people lift their spirits because a lot of people right now, um, even though we're starting, starting to open up, um, hopefully, hopefully we're good and we've waited long enough and people will socially distance and hopefully it will be safe with this opening up, but people are starting to open up and, uh, but a lot of people are still at home and not working and and feeling really really isolated so how like send a card like this to your friend lift them up lift the spirits up we sent out um a whole bunch of cards i think there was over 500 cards sent to a local hospital um for the healthcare providers there for the first responders so uh, it's amazing how much a card can lift someone's spirits so get stampin and uh I hope you guys have an amazing week and keep checking back on um, for notifications. And I'm my expectation is I'll be going live Wednesday for another card, a special one. And, and we'll be showing a masculine um, suite uh, for that card. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day if you're... Um, if you are a mom to uh, two-legged or four-legged fur babies, um, have a wonderful Mother's Day. Treat yourself and uh, take care. Happy stamping. Bye.